that may be doing here for a I'm only going to speak very, very briefly because this afternoon um, my plan was um, simply to spend time with you all um, to have a chance to see one another uh, and for me to hear how you all are. Um, my many, many friends, some of whom I have not seen uh, in a while. And the first place I will go is for a cuddle with that little baby. <laughs> Before I, before I make a few brief remarks, I want to acknowledge the team who's here with me today. Now, all of you know our Minister Megan Woods, um, because she has worked tirelessly alongside so many of you, and um, I know has become a friend of the community. So thank you for that, Megan. Many of you will know Reno Terekatane as well, who is uh, an MP that covers the entire South Island. Um, holding one of our uh, Māori seats in the Labour caucus, so it's wonderful he could be here today as well. Tracy McClellan, who you've just heard, is our candidate in Port Hills, so and it's fantastic to have her today. Tracy, do you mind giving her a quick wave so her information? Porto Williams, who many of you will know as well, of course, and then Duncan Webber, who's our MP in the central city area. We have a wonderful team, and I feel very, very lucky to work alongside them. Now, one of the things that I just wanted to reflect on today is that as we come to uh, the one year anniversary um, of March 15, uh, we have scheduled um, a memorial. And I want to acknowledge that a memorial is not something that would usually take place for those who are members of the Muslim community. And I know that that's something that sits usually outside of um, your practice. But I want to say thank you for the fact that you've openly acknowledged that it's something that means a lot for the New Zealand community. And that so many wish to come and acknowledge the harm and the pain and the trauma caused by March 15. And so many wish to continue to show their solidarity to you. So I thank you for being so willing to allow that to happen, even though it is not usual within a, the Muslim community to have a, a commemoration in that way. But it will mean a lot, I think, for New Zealand to be able to come together. I think it's also an opportunity for us to remind ourselves that it takes a long, long time to heal. And that we all still have much work that needs to be done. And we can do things like try and make our community safer by working on things like gun, gun legislation. And we can have the ongoing support of the community as we're continuing to try and make sure that we do, and whether that's ESOL support or housing support, which continues to be an issue. We can do all of those things, but the trauma of what this community went through will not be healed easily. And we need to make sure that we continue to be there and continue to walk alongside you. We also know, of course, that we, as a government and as a nation, must continually recommit ourselves to the kind of values that will ensure that we forever stamp out the kind of hatred that we saw manifest in our place, amongst our community, in March of last year. And that is going to be a longer term project. But I, what I want you to know is that on all of those things, you have me standing firmly alongside you. Not only, I hope, as your Prime Minister, but I hope now as a friend. Now, many of you, I've gotten to know your stories. I think often of you. For a long time, I was checking in almost daily the Minister of Immigration will tell you on some of our widows while they wait for that certainty that you deserve. I care deeply about what happens for each of you and the care that we provide you. And so I hope I can earn that place as friend. Thank you for letting me have the chance to come and spend some time with you. I want to hear how you all are. And that means not just the good bits, I want to know what's still hard. I want to know what we still need to work on. I want to know about your well-being. So instead of me talking, I will now come and speak a little time. Uh, thank you, Kamal. Thank you, everyone. All of the community leaders here for the chance to be with you. Asalaamu Alaikum.